I had like a really long line and oh I sold God. out. <gasps> and I was like, whoa. I packed for like a, s- a ski oh. trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like snow snow yeah. yeah. I feel like the government would be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Audited immediately. You have a Kerrygold Connect. You, you do? do? For Thing? butter. The I don't, I don't <laughs> Probably like needing to speak to another human <laughs> at yeah. that point in my day. So I would appreciate it. In this room, making <laughs> compound butters. I had like no windows in the room. Technically illegal. Rolling. Rolling. All right, so who are we talking to today? Amy France, yeah. AKA Young Kombucha 420 on the Soup and Salad podcast hosted by me, Julia, and my brother, Max. That's me. Um, Yeah, so Amy. We're getting deep into cake world today, which I didn't deep. really, I, yeah. know. I don't know much about cakes, but it's interesting to talk to somebody who does. I know. I've never, I mean, being a baker is such like a meticulous skill. Oh, um, I'm terrible at it. I know, same. Um, but yeah, Amy was really interesting to talk to because she is completely like self made in a space that I think is really saturated like baking and cakes and everything but hers are so unique looking that she just like kind of blew up on Instagram and now TikTok yeah and she's doing all this by herself like in an apartment in Bushwick so it's pretty right it's a good one to listen to if you're like a one person business like if you're you know doing something similar to this like get some tips right and doesn't even make she mentions like didn't even make any money on um on her social media. Like, she's fully just, like, operating as a one-person bakery and, like, killing it. Yeah, yeah. So, if you want to know how the cake is made, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Can you oh believe we this podcast? <laughs> I know. What so is going dumb. on? All right, so what else is going on? What'd you you were in L.A. for Thanksgiving, so we haven't really talked since then. Yeah, How thanks. was it? <laughs> Thanksgiving <terrible>. just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nice to be there, except... Yeah. The day, literally the night before I was supposed to fly out to stay with my boyfriend's family, his mom got COVID, which was so sad. <laughs> no, I know. He's like an only child, too, so he means everything to the mom. I know. So, so what happened? <laughs> so, <coughs> um, so I was, like, debating not going, but then I was, like... Free trip to L.A.? What? Free trip to L.A.? Yeah, also, I mean... I have two two of my best friends up there. Shout out Sam and Alexis. Sam has listened yeah. to every <laughs> podcast in full so oh, far. So just our mom and her. So far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, cool. And Dom. Um, new fans. Yeah, yeah, I know. I feel like the three fans. Yeah. Um, but it was still really fun. And like his mom was able to come to Thanksgiving, which was awesome. But what happened was we were going to like cook a lot of Thanksgiving meal together. Mm. And then me and Grayson just kind of had a tag team it, which was... Actually, pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. Cooking. Grayson's cooking with you? Yeah, my sous chef. <laughs> yeah, no, how do you do? <laughs> Good. I had him peel and chop a lot. Nice. And then I did the heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Thanksgiving was fun. What did you guys make? We made stuffing, honey roasted carrots, um, the mashed potatoes. You know, that's my specialty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roasted garlic mashed potatoes and the green beans. And then, like, his family made everything. Like, his uncle and wife made everything else. Right, so the staples. Yeah. And nice. w- what about you? Well, I did a couple things, too. We did boys giving with all the boys, including the bouncer of this bar, who's, yeah. like, the best. Oh, yeah. Um, every year, he brings a giant tray of fried green beans and noodles from this Chinese place <laughs> next to him. And then I made, like, a turkey roulade. I got some pizzas. Really, the boys giving's about yeah. the chicken. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we did that. What do we do on actual Thanksgiving? You went to Diana's or something? What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to a friend's um, spot. That was very wholesome. Really? Yeah. I thought it was going to be like last year was, you know, it's, all, it's like a crew of bartenders kind of. So right. like the shots are flowing immediately when you get in there. Uh, but this time felt very wholesome. Oh, we were I doing karaoke. That. Nice. We karaoke. Vibing. I mean, I wasn't, but I was, you know, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you anything good recently? What did um, you eat last night for dinner? Oh, my gosh. Last night? Ooh, I got a burrito from El Pastor at that place in Bushwick. How was it? It was dank. But in LA, I ate a ton. Did have in and out at the last hour. Classic. So good. Um, is it as good as? We talked about this for the price it is. Like, because it's so cheap. It's like, yeah. it's like as t- almost as cheap as McDonald's at this point. Because McDonald's yeah. is like expensive now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shout so out pricey. McDonald's again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... L.A., everything, 
I know this is like a known thing. I feel like I keep talking about LA that everything closes at two, but like truly closed. Like yeah, shut down. Yeah, last like call one thirty. Can't get food really. Grayson yeah. actually made us go to an IHOP at two, and then we had to like <laughs> get it to go, and yeah, yeah. that's the whole thing. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that was pretty much my week. I had a good dinner last night. What'd you have? I had um this quaint little pizza place called Little Caesar. <laughs> you got Little Caesars <laughs> last yeah. night. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm hungry. I'll go for all Don't day. they give you like It's always buy one, get one free for some reason. It's insane. It's insane. And like next thing you know, you have two giant pizzas in your <laughs> fridge. Like you eat one piece because it's so thick and like then you're done. And then like <laughs> you can't not get the second piece if it's free. Yeah, you just get it and leave it in the fridge. And but do you even else. eat it? I tried to. It's just so it's so gross. Yeah. Out. It's so heavy. Oh, little Caesars, little Cesar. <laughs> <laughs> Got some hot takes coming in from Abby over here. Judge blocks Montana from banning TikTok use in the state. What? what? Ban TikTok? You can't ban TikTok. Ban TikTok in the state of Man- Montana? They're trying to do that? I'm never no. going to TikTok. I mean, Montana. I know. You know what? Montana's uh, <laughs> abbreviation is MT. Why? Because it's, it's MT? MT. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. That's a Spencer joke. And speaking of Spencer jokes, our brother... He went to a uh, open mic night last night because our friend Logan's in town. Yeah. Because Logan's been doing stand up. Yeah. And Logan got scared, didn't do it. So Spencer just did no. it. No. He just freestyled stand up. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I, I cannot imagine what that was like. I got Good the video him. of it. I'll show really? you after this. Yeah. Oh, here's something that yeah. happened this week. So, Max was allergic to peanut butter his whole life until recently. That's true. How do you love peanut things? You tried a Reese's for the first time ever. Yeah, first time. What'd you think? I said eight out of ten the first time they asked me, but it was low. It was five out of ten. Oh, really? I think once you get older, the taste of it's like true. synthetic chocolate like that isn't as good as it is like when you're. It a is kid. true. When I was a kid, I loved them, and now like milk chocolate like that's processed like that just kind of tastes like yeah. trash. Yeah. But I've still never had like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Butterfinger. Let's do that on the next pod. I'm down. <gasps> yes. First time ever. First time ever. All right. Should we make one right now? Go to the bodega. That should be a segment to see you trying different things with peanut butter involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah. I like peanut butter now. <laughs> yeah. Three, Three, two, one. It's Friday, Friday. Friday. Gotta, gotta get, get down, down on Friday. Friday. Everyone's <laughs> looking forward to the weekend. What's the part about the cereal? That's my favorite part. <laughs> I don't know. Gotta wake up. Gotta get dressed for school. Gotta eat a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Top tier lyrics. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Rebecca Black's kind of had a comeback. I know. Though. She's Big cool Big comeback, now. yeah. yeah. Um, All right, so what are we doing? We got Amy coming in now. Kick off this podcast. Talk about some cakes. Talk about some influencer action. Yeah, and how to start your own business. So how to start your own business. Straight out of Brooklyn, so stay tuned. Like. Follow. Subscribe. <laughs> That's the editing test for you right there. <laughs> like, follow, and subscribe for more. Okay, what's up, Amy? Nothing. <laughs> 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 Welcome to 101 where you've. Oh, I died. <laughs> Sorry, this regular just skated by and like stuck his tongue out. Um, Jesus. We're here with Amy. Is it France or Francie? France. France. Like okay. the country. Okay. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Um, AKA Young Kombucha 420, <laughs> 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 which is how I learned about you. Um, my first question is. So I think a lot of people know you from your social media presence on Instagram and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, and where did the handle Young Kombucha 420 come from? I'm sure you've talked about this before, but I feel like it's probably a good story or just interesting. Yeah. Um, so I made like a food Instagram account in college. I think it was like my sophomore year. Okay. And I just needed a username for it. And I just like thought... Like, I liked kombucha, and I used to, like, <laughs> smoke weed. <laughs> so I thought it was, like, a funny username, and it was catchy. So I just kind of, like, did it, and it it stuck. So really is it that works. simple. And it has, like, really good SEO. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of, like, stuck with it now. I feel like, I mean, I don't smoke weed anymore, so I've kind of, like, outgrown it. Yeah. But it's, like, I feel like once someone has a specific like instagram name can't change you, it yeah, yeah it's like yeah is that why the like tiktok has no 420 it's just young kombucha right i don't know did i put a four? i don't even I don't know if so. i did <laughs> I, might, I might have taken the 420 out yeah. also my parents like when i was first starting it 
they were like, you ought to take that out. Like, businesses aren't going to take you seriously. And I was like, guys, like, it's 2020, like, one. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, my also, God. this was only a couple of years ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. I started it a long time ago, probably in, like, Got 2018. It. Okay. Cool. Okay. And it started sort of just, I feel like we should talk a little bit about, right now you're sort of really well known for these amazing sort of Baroque style cakes that are have a really unique look. Uh, and often made with, like, cool like local fresh ingredients and things and they're designed in a, a really unique way. You gotta look it's Y U N G, right? By the way? Yeah. Young kombucha. So don't go yeah. Yeah. in there. I um, like how it's just that simple. You just liked kombucha and weed. <laughs> and yeah. it was like yeah. Yeah. honestly, amazing. I don't know. My Marketing sophomore mastermind. year college mind. Right. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. And did you go to college in New York? Yeah, I went to Pace. Okay. University. Classic, classic. Yeah. Love that. Um okay, so before we even get there, I'm just curious like Kind of take us through your journey. Did you, have you always been into baking and cooking? Like, even growing up? Yeah, as a child, like, I loved cooking. And I remember at a really young age, I started making my own meals instead of, like, my mom cooking for me. And, like, I baked, but I wasn't, like, into it like I am now. Right. But my mom, um, like, worked in a bakery when she was in college, and I think high school so like she would always make this one chocolate cake from the bakery so like I don't know I have like a lot of memories of her making that growing up and then she would also always make me like a really cool birthday cake oh nice like I don't know if you like remember webkins yeah Yeah. of course (laughs) one time she made me this like wacky zingos cake (laughs) i don't even know if you like remember what that is i don't remember specifically but if you look it up you would know what it is but i i don't know we just like have home videos of like i see all the cakes that she made yeah and maybe that's like subconsciously in my mind it's gotta be yeah yeah Yeah. seed planted so Yeah. yeah and i always just like liked cooking i never saw it as a career it just kind of like something right. that, that happened. But now that I'm like doing it, I don't really see my like, I don't know. I can't imagine like doing anything else. Right. Like and w- where did you grow up? Or New was Hampshire. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you start cooking? I mean, like when what were you going to school for? When did you realize you could make some money from? I mean, I, I, like, are you doing mostly? Well, let's go back. Yeah, so no, sorry, I'm okay, getting ahead of so it a little bit. <coughs> so then you like kind of grow up seeing your mom bake. And you're, like, kind of into cooking. But then when you're in high school, are you, like, okay, I'm now going to go to college and I have to decide what I want to do? Or, like, what did you go in thinking at that point? So I had, like, I mean, okay. In high school, I was in this business club called DECA. I don't know if you know what that is. No, what is is that? But it's, like, basically everyone only did it so you could go on, like, a trip because – like, all year you worked on, like, some business project, and then you had, like, the state competition, and you would present your project, and then if you won at states, you got to go to nationals, and it was in, like, I went to Nashville one year for it, and then I went to Anaheim, oh, and, like, one year was in Florida, but that just, like, wasn't my year, but, like, everyone, like, all my friends, we all only did it because we were, like, I want to go to California, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I, I was doing that, and I remember... I, like, ended up taking all of, like, the, the what's the word, like, brunt work of the yeah. project yeah. and, like, did everything. And, I mean, I didn't hate it, but I didn't see myself, like, doing something business-related unless it was entrepreneurial, but I just, like, had no idea. So, I guess there's, like, some business background in my mind because of that club, mm-hmm. and then... I went to college undecided. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I chose communications as my major because I didn't have to take math. I did the same thing. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I took the math and I did terrible. And (sighs) I just like, I don't know. I had like no idea what I was doing until probably my junior year of college. I like started to kind of think about food because that's when the pandemic happened. And like... Oh, so you were a junior in college when pandemic happened. So you were doing school at home? Yeah. So oh, my God. I always, like, yeah, felt so school. bad for people who had to do <laughs> completely online school. It just seems harder for some it was. It was, like, school was a joke at that point mm-hmm. because the professors would give you the entire syllabus. And then, I mean, I'm, like, a really, like, I always just, like, got my work done in school. So I would, like, 
get the syllabus, do all the work, and then just have the rest of the semester free, like wait for the final and the midterm and just like do that. So I was like, online stuff. Oh my gosh. Right. But Might as well just buy a textbook at that point. Yeah, yeah honestly. Yeah. But yeah. when the pandemic like happened, so it was March 10th, everything shut down. My birthday is March 11th. Ooh. Oh my god. So March, I think like March 9th, I was on a bus to go visit my parents because we had planned to go skiing in Vermont for my birthday. Mm. And like this was when everyone was kind of like yeah. yeah, it's not gonna like be anything. <laughs> My birthday is March third, the <coughs> week before, and mm-hmm. I had like a huge birthday party that weekend, and then was like, oh no, this is no, like literally, literally, literally they call day. Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so I got home that night, and then my dad was like, oh the hotel just like canceled our trip like I don't think we can go anymore and I was like what oh my god and then I ended up just getting stuck in New Hampshire which ended up being like a big blessing yeah but I had no intention of like being there the entire time during the pandemic so like I was doing school while I was home but since I was home like I was just baking and cooking and like posting my photos on Instagram for fun. Were you there with just, like, one backpack of clothes or something? Like, I always wondered, like, people who got stuck somewhere, like, did you go back to, like, get no. stuff? <laughs> I literally had, like, one suitcase to pack. I think I packed for, like, I, I packed for, like, a, s- a ski oh, trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're wearing, like, snow, snow pants snow every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I ended up, like, going, like, doing online shopping while I was home. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so I feel like that's when I really just kind of, like, got into food and, like, styling aspect and like I don't know you know the photos right and then I was my big thing was at the time I was vegan so every time I would like get a baked good out I was like this tastes like shit (laughs) so (laughs) I like my big thing was like I'm going to mimic traditional baking techniques into a vegan version so I tried to teach myself everything about that while I was home and then like Again, like, I'm posting everything on Instagram. I'm, I'm gaining a following. And then I ended up coming back to New York, I think, August mm-hmm. of, uh, I don't even know what the year was. Was it, like, point. a whole year later or, like, two I years I think later? it was, like, <coughs> 2021. Yeah. Because I came back for school, even though uh. I was still going to be doing stuff online. And I was, like, wait, like, I have this product. I have this following. Maybe I should try to, like, sell it. Yeah. So... I don't know if you this guys school, school yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I don't know if you guys were familiar with Hester Street Fair. It's yeah. like still a thing, but when it was like actually at the Hester Street location, I think I just like saw on Instagram, and I was like, maybe I should do this. So I texted my friends, and I was just like, you guys think I should buy a booth and try to sell like cake? Yeah, yeah. and they were like, why not? Like we'll drive you. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> and then I did it and. I had like a really long line and oh I sold God. out and really? I was like, whoa. Did you have like an Instagram following like that was pretty good <laughs> before that? Like did yeah. you use it to promote it? Yeah, I yeah. mean I just posted about it, but yeah. I wasn't expecting the outcome yeah. at yeah. all. And then I was like, wait a second. So then <laughs> I did I did another <laughs> one there <laughs> and the same thing happened. And then I just kinda like started doing pop ups around the city. It was like gaining a following, started getting commissioned orders like in the midst of all this and like keep in mind like i'm still in school right so i'm like i'm like baking but i have like my f- my class in as oh a podcast God. i'm like yeah. making cake orders for people that are like picking stuff up yeah and then it came time to graduate and i had to have this like big discussion with my parents because they were like you got you like corporate job yeah. like yeah. college and i was like you guys like don't understand like, <laughs> Instagram, like, I, was, like, like I could do something with this yeah. and they I, like, convinced them, and it all just kind of, like, ended up working out. Wow. But I think it was, like, the timing of the pandemic. I I think if, like, I was to do that now, I would not be as successful as, like, with what happened. I think there's definitely a handful of creators who, like, really took that moment to, or, like, didn't even know they could do it, and then just started posting, and then realized. I know. Definitely. Like, how quick was, like, the buildup? Like, I, because it kind of started on Instagram, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, at what point were you like, oh, this is, like, kind of a lot of people and, like, maybe something that I could, I don't know, bring to real life? I think probably, like, 
spring of 2021 yeah is when i hit like <coughs> 15 or 20k and i was kind of like okay yeah. like <laughs> i think numbers. i think when you have a account like that it's really hard to like actually visualize how many people True. that is yeah. because yeah. now like my dad would always be like look up like a concert like Madison Square Garden how many people fit in Madison Square Garden like yeah. that's literally how many people follow that is you wild. and i'm like i i don't like <laughs> normally think that way it is so that is weird to think about, to yeah. Think about. yeah. Well, was there like a moment where it sort of really popped <coughs> off like did some like i cuz I, I was going i was digging deep in the instagram and i was like I could see, like, when you started doing the cakes, it almost seemed like it was peaking a little bit, maybe. But I don't know. What What I do you feel? I think, like, probably end of 2021, 2022, like, when the pandemic was kind of, like, starting to chill out a little bit, a lot of brands were reaching out to uh. make cakes um, just because, like, they wanted stuff for, like, show on Instagram. Right. Or they were, like, starting – people were starting to have events again, so everyone wanted a cake – for an event, so I feel like that's kind of when it started, you know, making really its way. And well then I started getting like some wedding cake orders, and I think like once I started making the bigger cakes, that's kind of when more people started following. But I yeah. also think like doing pop ups was like a really great way for people to be able to try something without having to buy a big cake. So that always kind of generated right some buzz. So you're doing these pop-ups like does it ever transition to being more so like are you doing pop-ups now still or is it more so just private like private um cakes for clients and weddings and things um so i do pop-ups like every once in a while now they're just like so much work yeah, yeah. um it's like by the time you're like actually like i love doing them because it's such a great way to like meet everyone and like talk to people because i i do work like a very s like i don't know like lonesome job <laughs> I do everything by myself. <laughs> but it's like by the time the pop-up comes around you've been like going non-stop for a week yeah. and then you have to like talk to people and you're like yeah like whoa like yeah. i haven't slept yeah. do you ever like when you were initially starting your own business were you ever like okay if this is like too like doesn't work out i'm gonna like work at a bakery or like how did you feel about that route i don't know i really <laughs> like never thought about it oh really i just kind of like always had this like deep into like gut feeling i guess that things were gonna work yeah. and i would be able to do this Love that. and nailed it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you because like in the past pods and our guests we've talked to like the people who have gone to culinary school are like yeah like it wasn't worth it you definitely don't need to do that were you ever like thinking about going to like a like professional baking school or anything like that or culinary school it was like a thought but again, like that's what everyone told me too. They yeah. were like, "It's yeah. really not right worth you just it." Just learn online, and from I, your mom in your case, yeah. I guess. yeah, yeah. And I just like, I mean, I'm I ta I taught myself everything from like YouTube and right. like, just like the internet, and I think that that's so beneficial, like learning everything yourself. It, even yeah. like with like starting up a business, like doing it all yourself, so you actually have all of that knowledge versus like that's so much more what's the word like i don't know it's just so much more special to like teach everything to yourself teach everything yourself yeah, you know yeah. versus yeah. like have mm. someone like do the whole thing for you right, right. i mean you also care learn so by much. doing yeah yeah is your llc young kombucha 420 no. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't even know if they would approve that <laughs> yeah. What is, like, I mean, they would think she's yeah, selling Yeah, what is your weed. business name, I it's guess? It's just under, like, my name. Your name, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. I feel like the government would be, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audited immediately. Think you're yeah, a Bushwick smoke shop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. And then, like, how... I always wonder this, too, about... Again, like, people that we've talked to in the past, like, yeah, I got a manager, and, like, at that point, everything changed. Like, did you do that, or are you just, like, everything on your own? Everything on my own still. Nice. I'm, like, too scared to get yeah. a manager because I'm a control freak. Yeah. That's also, like, why I won't hire any employees just because, like, I need to do everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thought of, like, someone else baking a cake, like, <laughs> <laughs> I get, like a, like, a knot in my yeah. stomach thinking about that. Because, <laughs> like, what if they mess up? Yeah. 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 Um, but it was, it was, like, 
all word of mouth from Instagram, honestly. Yeah. That's like how the whole it's like still that, which yeah. is like so bizarre. It's right. powerful. I know. Yeah. Do you do any brand like deals? Like more so like um content for brands ever? It's just strictly no. like selling the big goods. Because you definitely could. I mean you have the following for Okay, it, yeah. that's the thing. I don't understand because <laughs> most brands yeah. like don't see me as like an influencer they see me as a business i think yeah so oh that's interesting i never like brands never reach out and if i do get something it's like i don't want to promote this like it's not yeah. like yeah i don't know it's just like something i don't, I don't mean this like rudely but it's just like kind of like stupid I'm yeah. like that's yeah. like not something i would ever do and then like the brands that i do reach out to and try to work with them it just like doesn't yeah out, you know I get it. I mean, yeah, you don't want to also, like, devalue your own personal brand by right. pitching some stupid product or whatever. We yeah. got to get, like, Kerrygold to sponsor you or something. I, I know. <laughs> I, I have a Kerrygold Connect. You, you do? do? For Thing? butter. The Kerrygold I don't, I've plug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I've never, like, worked with them, but I do get butter every <laughs> once in a while. You got the hookup? Oh, Fall yeah, off the back I of do. a truck or something? <laughs> 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 Were you, like, freaking out? What was it, like, a couple months ago when, like, I mean, still, but, like, the price of eggs was, like, skyrocketing. I actually don't bake with eggs. Oh, oh right. Because yeah, yeah. they're vegan cakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so, but, oh God, no. That's a great way to keep costs down, I still guess. Still with, like, butter. Yeah. Yeah. It went from, like, $4 to, like, $10. Damn. So, I, I did have to raise prices for stuff. And yeah. it was kind of difficult at first, like, communicating that with clients. Because yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it was this weird space of everyone being, like, groceries are so expensive. Like, what the heck? And then, yeah. like you would, like, tell someone a price, and they'd be like, that's outrageous. Yeah. And I'm like, well, didn't you just, like, yeah. freak out about groceries being so <laughs> right. expensive? Yeah. Like, totally. But the cakes are expensive, man. I, I, I mean, like, what's – can you talk about, like, a range? Like, what is something, like, a, a cake cost? I mean, there's obviously different sizes. There's different variations, yeah. but – Well, also, to go into that, like, you use really high – Premium ingredients. Yeah, yeah, premium yeah. ingredients that are, like, in season, so – it, yeah, you can just also talk about that whole... It takes a long time. Yeah. Right, true. And you're a one-man yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> um, like a a normal size cake, like I, th I think it feeds like probably like 15 to, I don't know, like 17, yeah. depending on how thick you slice it. It starts around like 400, yeah. depending yeah. on like what is in it. Everything is individually priced. Yeah. It's a top-tier cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. But, like, <laughs> you have to remember it's, like, I'm not a bakery and I don't have a totally. team. Like, yeah. I'm doing every single step of right. the process. And, I'm like, also I think something people don't realize is there's a whole um, consulting process with, like, emails. Yeah. Like, when people have a normal job, like, you're getting paid, like, an hourly rate to, like, answer emails. Like, yeah. I'm not. I have to, yeah. I, you have to factor all this in, too. Of course. Of, like, everything. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you th I think, like, any, even, like, I'm just thinking, like, jobs of people that we know. Like, I know, like, camera guys will charge $500 for a day rate. But it takes more than a day to, you know, make these cakes. And, right. Like, yeah. So exactly. it's definitely, you know, it right. makes sense. Plus, there's, like, all the things, like, the, m the marketing, like, all, the, like, the posts you do. and Right. Oh Keeping yeah. up with creating content. Right. Does exactly. that ever get annoying? Yeah. But, well, like, it's funny that you say that because you're, like, do you ever get any brand deals I don't make any money from social media, right. like mm -hmm. itself. Like What's I a make marketing tool for you. Yeah, I, I use yeah. it as a marketing tool, but every all the money I make is from my business. Like I'm not getting paid like an influencer, like to post like a ooh like yeah this <laughs> this like you know. <laughs> is I that your impression? <laughs> <of> <laughs> well, yeah. Athletic greens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not like yeah. AG one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not having this every morning. <laughs> um, but uh, oh yeah, so. Like, in Instagram itself and TikTok, that's, like, a full-time job on top of a full-time totally. job. Totally. Yeah. yeah. How do you think about making content on TikTok versus Instagram? Because yeah. you have a very different sort of, like, vibe on each, I feel like. TikTok is more, like, for, for the silliness. Yeah. yeah. You know? Totally. Um, I just recently, like, got into the algorithm on TikTok, so... I'm kind of taking a little bit more seriously. Yeah. You've been popping up on my TikTok. That's crazy. We also yeah. live in the same neighborhood, but okay, like that makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, still, like I'm seeing them, which is good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't that weird? It's so funny. This happened to me one time when, like, I was at our friend's birthday party. It was actually Cream's birthday party, like who has been on here like three years ago, and there's this 
girl who was friends with him and I like talked to her and I was like, like, I thought I had known her. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, we've met before. And she was like, I don't think so. I was like, yeah, like through Max or something. And she was like, no. And like three days later, I realized it was just because I had seen her TikToks a bunch of times and had no idea. Like, it was like a total parasocial relationship, but I didn't even realize it. Like, I really thought I knew her. It was so weird. Like, especially when you like run in the same like circles, kind of. It's a strange. You ever get recognized out in the streets? (laughs) You ever at the club and they're just like, whoa. (laughs) Yeah, that happens a lot of times. Really? Does it really? Oh Oh my God. I get like recognize like probably almost every time i go outside oh my god really? sometimes i get That's like amazing. dms about it They're, it was literally like <laughs> saw you at the show but like too nervous to say hi oh my god <laughs> but i understand like a lot of times i'll have like headphones on or something yeah, yeah. but people can say hi if yeah. They, yeah they see me i'm probably like needing to speak to another human at <laughs> yeah. that point in my day so i would appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> you just hold up all day making cakes yeah <laughs> oh my god that's so funny. Can you keep up with the sort of demand, or do you have to turn people away sometimes? I do have to turn a lot of people away. Yeah. This this leads me into a great story to yes, tell you. Yes, yeah. let's hear it. Um, about just, like, demand. So, obviously, it's the holidays, and everyone wants a cake, and I'm very clear that y- you need to order ahead of time if you want a custom cake, because I can't make one last minute. So, I went home to New Hampshire for Thanksgiving, and I got back on Wednesday night, right? Yeah. And I get home, and I open my fridge, and I'm like, <gasps> oh no. what's that smell? Oh no. Like, why does it smell like that? And then I open the freezer, and everything is Ooh. not frozen. And oh. I had a lot of inventory, like, frozen oh no. in no. my freezer, and just, like, a lot of stuff in my fridge I had to throw everything away Damn. my fridge what happened it broke it just like broke while i was the gone the fridge just turned off yeah, oh. no no it, it just like actually like the fridge died yeah like the light is still working but the fan isn't working oh I my think, god like, a coil might have burned out or something yeah. <laughs> so currently i don't have a fridge oh my now still? still still i don't know what i'm gonna get what one. Are you gonna do? i don't got know. a cooler in the basement you could borrow if you need it <laughs> I, I have like a little mini fridge yeah. but yeah, so like Yeah, you can't be making pro Now cakes I'm like stressed about this and, and then I got like Dude. four emails yesterday being like, Can you make a full size cake for Monday? Oh I'm my like God. No. Yeah. Like come I don't to the food fifty two office. We have a huge walk in you can use if you need it and all five kitchens. Seriously. If you like really need it, seriously, you can come that in. That would be amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Let's just say the past two days have been anxiety inducing. Oh, yeah. that's why you were like, I was stress baking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh we have a fridge in the basement here too. If you really need to borrow one, I know you're you right stash there. Some stuff. <laughs> that yeah. could yeah be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, have you ever like? I was a huge like Food Network and like Cake Boss fan and like Cake Wars and everything. Have you ever like made a cake and then have something disastrous happen or it, like falls apart on the way somewhere or anything like that? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last December, I made a chocolate cake. And the entire thing, this was just me being stupid. I, like, didn't do the math right for the weight and, like, the way I wanted to construct it. And the whole thing just no. collapsed on me while I was assembling it. And oh then that no. was a <gasps> stay up all night night. And then, oh, my God. So you just had to start from scratch for the next day. You had to make oh this. Oh, yeah. You pulled it off, though, still? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then over the spring, I had, like, a job upstate that was, like, a really, like, I, like, had to do it. But I had cake orders, like, getting picked up the next day. So, like, everything was prepped. I woke up, like, super early, went upstate, like, did this job, came home in the afternoon. And then I was, like, assembling my cakes. But I was just, like, being stupid, and I didn't make the buttercream, like, sturdy enough. And I assembled one cake, and the whole thing just, like, fell apart. And I had to stay up all night. (sighs) like rebaking remaking the buttercream nightmare everything and like I th- i'm pretty sure this person was picking it up at like 9 a.m in the morning so Yikes. that was like horrible luck oh no so, like i would like go to sleep set like 30 minute timers oh, and just like yeah. wake up oh no go back in the kitchen that have you ever had a moment where you like you literally like it fell apart but you couldn't deliver it at all couldn't even make one last minute you had to tell mm-hmm. someone 
Wow. Not okay. yet. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you want a cake for sure, dude. This Tan- is the person to talk to. This is tangent, but when you went upstate, was that for treat top? Or no? No, this. <laughs> <laughs> we know Jacob. No, yeah, just, <laughs> our friend Jacob does that. No, yeah. yeah. I've done um, tree top with him <laughs> a few times over the summer. This was in the spring. I actually had to go. Do you guys remember, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go to Martha Stewart's estate. <laughs> what? <laughs> because my that friend was, like, going to be on her show, and I was just being, like, an assistant, and I literally was just, like, in this room making <laughs> compound butters. I had, like, no windows in the room. <laughs> and, like, I was, like, making compound <laughs> butters and, like, putting them in these molds <laughs> and, like, freezing so them the whole time. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a... That was a bad day. <laughs> in a room with no windows. Yeah, what, what was this room in a basement? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it was like in like this cottage house on oh the man. estate, but I don't know why it like had no windows. <laughs> That's the that butter house. So Martha Stewart's <laughs> butter house. <laughs> Did you meet her? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't cry over spilt milk. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. Yeah, well. um, <laughs> so I guess... Mm. We could address what's in front of us, these unreal ginger muffins. Are these Thank vegan you for too? bringing them. Those aren't vegan. Okay, like, oh, really? really yeah. Good, yeah. So that <laughs> makes me wonder, like, and you were saying that you were, like, testing those for a long time. Like, yeah. what goes into, how long does it take you to, like, test a new recipe? Oh, God. This is a whole other oh thing my I'm God. about to get into. <laughs> <laughs> Pop so off. I have, like, this obsession with muffins. I don't know why, but I think, like, many years ago I tried to make a muffin And it just came out, like, so horrible. (laughs) And I was, like, I'm, like, determined to make, like, the perfect muffin. And this is, like, one of the only recipes I post online. Like, I don't post any of my cakes just because, you know, like, I sell my products. Right. So, I don't know. I thought this would be, like, a fun idea for people to, like, make one of my recipes. But, like, this muffin took... Okay, so I started by making a pumpkin muffin in the fall which was like it was easier to develop this one because i had already made the pumpkin muffin and kind of like had the backbone of it but like with the pumpkin muffin and this muffin i've probably made them like 15 times before i made it perfect oh my god so you're really yeah you're working a long time i always wonder this about (laughs) recipe development like what do you do with all the ones that are like fine but like not do you what make you very want. small batches? Oh, I I just give them away to people. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I give my neighbor a lot of them. <laughs> Your neighbor's neighbor's just yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> my neighbor gets a lot of muffins. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always bring them to my yoga studio. I like yeah. force my friends to have them. Yeah. <laughs> like Amy's here again. She's got <laughs> 50 more muffins for us. <laughs> You're like, oh my god. Yeah. Um but yeah, so those they, they take a while. But I think like in the the world that we live in of like such like fast media especially on tiktok and instagram a lot like i see these content creators like busting out these recipes like yeah yeah like day after day it's and insane. i'm like H- are you even like <laughs> testing this like no this I think took the me like literally months to make yeah. these yeah. muffins like i think since last spring i've eaten like hundreds <laughs> <laughs> like every single day like months on end just so i can perfect yeah. this and i'm like yeah. it just like makes me think about the the quality of like yeah like recipe development in today's day and age it's like everything's so fast-paced just like yeah. fashion trends yeah. it's yeah. like i think more people need to actually like put the time into recipe development versus just like busting out this content yeah. because even like my friends say this half the time they like they'll be like oh i found a recipe on tiktok it looks really good and then they make it and they're like it's terrible they're yeah. like, this did not come out <laughs> correct yeah. at all I've, I've been there like yeah. for sure well also they skip yeah. so many steps in the rest right. like they just chop it together really quickly yeah, yeah. making such a science you know it's like right no. can't just wing it yeah yeah and mm-hmm. you don't really know till the very end if it's what you yeah. want and yeah. it takes a long time exactly yeah. um, I don't know if I'm going to scale up because, like, everything's working. I mean, as long as my fridge (laughs) gets back in business. (laughs) um, Like, I feel like what I'm doing right now is working well and I'm able to, like, be consistent. I think, like, having a little bit of demand is a good thing, too. I think, like, if I was to scale up, you lose 
that like DIY aspect of everything yeah. and just like the small batch and having one person make it. I don't want like someone to have a cake and it's like dry because someone else made it or right. it's like in a bakery and we're right. like, you know, we're like crunching numbers because now we have to pay for a, a space and yeah. everything. It's like... Yeah. They keep the demand high. You're like the supreme of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> cake drop. It's like cake, drop. cake drop. Cake yeah. drop. Thursday, 11 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Line around the block. How many cakes can you do like in a week? Like, so you got the mini ones and then you got custom ones. Okay. If I like really push myself, eight custom cakes. Oh, wow. That's of, amazing. Like, Regular size ones. Yeah, it's a if lot. If not, I'll do like a bigger one and like three or four smaller ones, yeah. and then I can push like thirty to forty mini cakes in a week. Oh my gosh! Wow. It just depends. And now that I have my mini fridge, like when I have the mini fridge and my big fridge, like it's over. Like yeah, it's like over. Like <laughs> I can like mass produce now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like in my mind. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. So, have you ever done? You said you do like some weddings. Have you ever just had like a total bridezilla or someone who? Oh yeah, that really? Does, that seems so stressful. That does me. seem so yeah. stressful. Well, I found out recently. The last podcast I was on was with like a wedding planner that I worked with, and he told me something that was like, yeah, I don't know, just like really opened my eyes because I'd never thought about this before. Because like in my world of making cakes, it's like, all right, listen, like this is what I make. This is what I'm making this month. Like you want a carrot cake in. December, like, sorry, I'm not making it. Like, choose from this list. Um, right. You know, like, I'm only using seasonal ingredients. Yeah. You yeah. want a strawberry right now? Like, I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Like, it's going to taste like shit. <laughs> it's yeah. literally in the middle of December. <laughs> um, but the <laughs> wedding planner, he told me, like, in the wedding world, the bride gets everything. So, like, yeah. when the bride hears, like, oh, like, I can't get my rhubarb cake in December, they're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, in my world, I'm just kind of, like, making something. Right. Yeah. But in, like, the wedding world, it's, like, the bride gets what she wants. Like, right. Yeah. And, like, no offense to the bride or anything, you know? <laughs> but it's, like... I feel like we're talking about one specific person for <laughs> some know. reason. No, not even. Because, no, like, I, I just, like, found this out in general. Yeah. I've never really had, like, bridezillas. It's more kind of just, like, you get an email and yeah. you're, like, oh, God, like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I feel like you really set the ground rules. You're like, yeah. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, which yeah. is important. Because they can right. go to any bakery if they want some bad cake, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your, like, absolute favorite cake to either eat or make? I'm obsessed with using cognac. Mm. Yeah. Like, I yeah. think it just makes it so, like, I don't know, chocolate and cognac. Is just and, like, espresso. Yeah. yeah. That's just, like, I don't know, it's so good. Right. Um. I make this one buttercream that's, like, either the chocolate cognac espresso one or I make a tonka bean cognac one. What is that? Yeah, what's tonka bean? Tonka bean bean is, like, this, I don't, I think it's, like, considered a tree nut or something. I don't know. It's, it's, like, technically illegal. They're really hard to get (laughs) because it's, like, with a Brazil nut, you know, like, you can get too much of it and then, like, you can die. But in small quantities, it's fine. But it's yeah. just like an FDA regulation. But it almost tastes like almond extract, but like different. Interesting. Like you'd have to try it. But I'm like, I don't know. It's just so good with chocolate. It's so good for holiday cakes right. too. Um, I don't know. You just yeah. like you'd have to try it. Yeah. To know. I'm gonna Are have you to get a some cake? Uh, holiday cakes like this <coughs> week. You working on any right now? Yeah. We got I'm the fridge problem, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually I baked a cake this morning. It yeah. was um a toasted coconut olive oil cake. Oh my yeah. god, and yeah. And then what did they have for filling? They're having labna, oh. yuzu, cranberry, jam. That sounds unreal. And then Gianduja buttercream, like hazelnut chocolate spread kind yeah. of. Wow. Yeah, so that's the that's the cake for this week. That sounds amazing. That's why these cakes are four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're, they're really good. Let's get down to business, though. Why is Young Thug in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Young Thug. Yeah. What's your favorite Young Thug song? Digits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. Or do no, like with that. <laughs> <laughs> do you clip that. <laughs> do you listen to music like when you bake most of the time? Oh yeah. What's your favorite like artist? Okay. Who was in your Spotify raft? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> You want me to pull it up? Yeah. yeah. I totally could. 
Because you got good music selection in the TikToks. Yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely <laughs> like my old, rap. like, yeah. my, like, 2016 rap yeah, is yeah. very important to me. <laughs> I'm yeah. a huge Drake fan. Yeah, Wait. Who isn't? <laughs> we were just like, talking about Drake. I thought you had to calm down. <laughs> okay, but I love his old stuff. Yeah. Okay, this is my Spotify rap. Number one, Drake. Yeah. Two, Lana Del Rey. Oh, I had her. I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name, but uh, he like composed a <laughs> Romeo and Juliet soundtrack, like the ballet. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to that a lot. It's like a comfort thing when I get like stressed out. Oh my um, god! The weekend. Yeah, I've I've never seen that show that he has, so I can it was still like listen to good. his music in peace. Yeah, oh, what um, do you have a don't really listen. The Idol. Oh yeah, the oh, Idol. The That's idol. What it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't TV finish show. it. Yeah. And then the last one is Danny Elfman. <laughs> Wait, yeah. oh, Tim I love that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that totally that like makes sense. makes sense. Yeah, um, were you a Tim Burton fan when you were a kid? Is, are you listening to, like that movie for Christmas on there or something? Or? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that's been in the. I was actually listening to it today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've been going through an obsession. Um, yeah, but all that. I also like really love Phantom of the Opera. Uh, we played yeah. it a lot in here late night when the gates are, are closed. Are you serious? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's so funny. I'm a huge song. Phantom of the Opera fan, and I don't know who else. Oh, I, I always, like, have loved George Michael ever since <laughs> I was, like, really little. What a collective. <laughs> Careless <laughs> Whisper was, like, my favorite song, like, when I was really young. You have um, a huge variety of tastes. Yeah, yeah everything's <laughs> very random. It depends on, like, the vibe of the week, That's you so know? so funny. I love oh the music God. in the TikTok. It's always, like, some, like, <laughs> yeah, it's always some, some good, shit. some rap music. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, making a cute sandwich. Just, like, young thug in the background. That's so funny. <laughs> Well, I'm happy for your success. I love watching it. Thank you. I um, appreciate that. Of course. And uh, how, if someone does want a cake, one, how far out in advance should they order it? And two, like, what's the best way to do that? Um, two to three weeks, ideally. Sometimes I can push that last minute, but it really depends. Yeah. So I always say, like, if you want first pick at flavors and just just email me. Do not DM me. <laughs> I will immediately direct you to emails. I'm sorry, that's like a yeah. boomer thing of me to do, but like, <laughs> it's like we can't be doing DMs. Like, I just, I get it. Yeah. It's just like too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. My email, youngkombucha at gmail.com. There we no, go. no 420 in it. <laughs> okay. And no. Y U N G. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or check my website. It's in the, the bio of my Instagram. Link yeah. In yeah. Love that yeah, link in bio. <laughs> 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 yeah it's good people should definitely follow you on tiktok because it's got a yeah. dry funny tone it's like <laughs> yeah. it's funny I, I like it thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also good like food content yeah up. honestly yeah. it's yeah. yeah it makes me jealous every time even just like your lunch i'm like i mean th they're gorgeous every single day i'm like oh thank my god you. <laughs> i mean like an a cracker in the office. <laughs> no, low key though, like me. When I when I, when I don't post something, just yeah. know yeah. that's what I'm eating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. All right, well, thanks, Amy. Thanks yeah. for coming. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. I cheers. guess we always do a cheers at the end. Obviously, you don't have to. We'll yeah. do it with this and then. Yeah. Boom, that's vodka, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>